Mrs. Sheltonest, how may I help you? Ma'am, si, 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 si. Good morning, ma'am. <laughs> oh, la, la. <laughs> may I remind you how childish that is, Jerome? Does it matter? <laughs> May I help you with your bag? Why? Because that's what a normal gentleman would do for a babe like you. You do have a very funny way of showing how gentlemanly you are, Jerome. performance great is less about their genes and talents but good morning Miriam ability. Ooh, Charlie let's do the Kofi Annan good morning man sir <laughs> Charlie if I could dress and look as good as you I wouldn't even come to work early it's simple my friend mm -hmm. all you need to do is look as fly as I do and get the pretty chicks to do the do <laughs> exactly the suggestion I thought you'd give exactly the suggestion you need my friend see I want to give you a tutorial of Lagos life. But first, you need to behave yourself. Hopefully not now. Not during office hours. I got things to do. <laughs> and I, I will always Love you. Why? Jerome, it is just too early in the morning for gibberish. What? Not seen a fine boy before. <clears throat> Sandra, could you please excuse us? Yes, thank you. Stop shaking, I'm taking. So I said it is just too early in the morning for gibberish. Oh, that. Well, the talk between a man and a woman at the initial stage is unaccepted gibberish. Look, Miriam, we've got a lot in common. We should just go out sometime to a boogie. In your dreams, perhaps. In my dreams? I've done a lot of things with you. I just want to make it real, is all. <laughs> uh. Nadia is all grown up now, you know. Impressive. You speak as though you were her father. You haven't heard the saying that one bears a child and many care for the child. That's an uncommon plus from you. There are a lot of pluses to this dude you should get to know about. <laughs> Don't you get tired of all these girls fooling around you? None of them are like Nadia. Oh, so it's not enough that you're after the mother. You want to add the daughter to the list? Heaven loves us all. Who am I to be different? I see. <laughs> but you know, all of this is just plain talk, right? If I didn't know you, Jerome, I'd say yes. Or maybe. Look, Shelter Nest has an anchor wrapped around our neck so tight we dare not go near water. So chill, babe. Relax. You know, rules aren't there for nothing. The people with clean hands have nothing to fear once a good wash is required, except they have something to hide. Everyone's a thief when no one's home, Maria. So don't get caught. Or better yet, keep your closet as tightly shut as you have. Would you excuse me, please? <laughs> Yes, this is Miriam.
Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Mm. Gentleman Bada. The ever gentle and so calm Bada. Well, when you're seeing life the way I have, you know it's not worth the stress. That's the word. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Good morning sir. sir. Please um, be seated. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> I'm sure you'll be surprised to see me here. Hmm? <laughs> I just came by to give kudos to all of you for the good job you have been doing. Hmm? Um, I, I don't do this, well, not often. <laughs> but um, you see, the good job you have done in the little time that you have uh, compels me to come personally to say thank you. And of course, to encourage you to do more. So. Thank you. And uh, of course, continue to do better. <laughs> I'm going to be having a few words with the managing director, and thereafter, he'll come back uh, to take over the meeting. Hmm? Have a nice day. Okay. Bino, you said the state governor has a preferred real estate company he wants to use for the workers' village? That's the information I got, sir. Really? Okay. Your Excellency, yes, it's uh, Teniola Body Johnson, yes. How are you, sir? I was just wondering, are you at the State House? Well, I just thought maybe I could drop by to discuss something very important with you, if it won't destabilize your schedule. Ah, good, good. Yes, I'll, I'll be on my way right away. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. Okay, see you soon. Okay. I'll have a talk with you after my meeting with the governor. All right, sir. Good. Um, ask Essie to send in the reports to my office. I will do that, sir. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we all heard what the chairman said, but I'm going to emphasize on it. From the figures coming in from Abuja, Shelter Nest is the number one real estate company in Nigeria. We, we have not only attained our targets of 2,000 homes in two years, but we've also exceeded it. The company would like to commend the account department for keeping our finances clean and balanced. I mean, <laughs> the auditors have nothing but high praises for you. Thank you. And to the legal unit, uh, you have saved us over and over and over again from lawsuits and litigations. 
Uh, one of the reasons why we are strong is because our clients know they have nothing to fear when they deal with us. And that is because we are free from controversies. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> to our esteemed architect, Bada Bankole. Praise cannot be enough for your creativity and your excellence in churning out excellent designs every time that we need it. The company wants to let you know that we're ready to support you and encourage you in every way to ensure that the best is gotten from you. Thank you. You see, one of the things I've learned in the past two years is never underestimate anybody, especially when it comes to an intern, a marketing and a PR genius. We are about going out to hire a professional PR personnel with all the experience. That was when Mensa came on board and he took on a retinue of a minister and the press all by himself and he handled it perfectly. Oh, I am personally wowed by that. Kudos from me to you. <laughs> and of course, Essie, you cannot be unrecognized in all this. You see, we are all doing our jobs well because you never let anything slip by you. Thank you. Thank you. You see, I still want us. I'm, so, I'm sorry about that, sir. He's not answering my call. Jerem had better not let me take this the hard way with him. Oh, hi, good morning. Good morning. Um, how may I help you, please? No, you can't. Only Jerem can help me. And he's not answering my calls. He can't answer your calls because he's having a meeting with the MD. Do you know where this is? Are you buying a house or selling? Do I look like a money to you? Okay. In spite of all that, we're still in the top five real estate companies in Africa. But I still want us to be number one. We can do it. It can be done. All we just need to do is to work harder. And I assure you, if we achieve that, automatically our salaries will be upped by 25%. That being said, we all need to avoid anything that will bring about a bad reputation to the company. You all know we are dealing with sophisticated clientele that cuts across all sectors of the economy, including politicians. So please, we need to be a step above in anything that we do. I mean, Am I making sense? Yes, sir. All right. Before I end this meeting, I would like to hear from each and every one of us. What plans, what is your roadmap to turn out a more successful and excellent year?
Somebody enjoy fish you. You see that where there are no rules, there can be no crimes. You have definitely gone beyond your limit this time. But you know what? I'm not going to make an issue out of it. You know why? Because this is the wrong place. Are you hearing me? What would you have me do? When you keep ignoring my calls and avoiding me. That's why you've been calling me up and down, up and down, calling me, calling me anyhow. Eh? Look, after work, I will call you. We'll meet at that uh, that joint close to your house. Eh? This thing you did today is enough for me to throw you out of this place. But because I'm magnanimous, I am nice, I will give you a second chance so that me, I can help you cure all this your craze. I am not insane. My friend, get out of this place now. Who's this? How did you get my number? No, no, I'm not saying that you cannot call me. I'm only saying that I know that I did not give you my number. Yes, I'll come tonight. I said I'll come. No, now, why are you talking like this now? You can't be threatening me like this now. I said I'll come. Yeah, hello? Yeah, how are you? Okay, okay. My name is Mensa Agri. I'm calling from Shelter Nest. Yeah, I'll be coming to pick up the, the insects. See, I don't want any... What? Uh-huh. Hey, where did you hear that one from? You know what? Just hold up. I'll call you back soon. Jerome! What? Calm down now, Charlie. I'm just here to make some clarifications. What is it? Okay. Did you call the printer? What printer are you talking about? The same ones now. The same ones we had to deal with so we can... Oh, I remember those ones. Uh -huh. What's it happen? Okay. You cut the number of insets I ordered for without checking with me first. What's up with that now? You mean the insets the company asked you to arrange? Yes. I ordered for 200, which you've now reduced to 100. What do you need 200 inserts for if you are not a thief? Shutterness as it is does not need heavy publicity. Why? Because we are already popular. You think I'll just sit down on my seat like a log of tree and just have you waste our money anyhow you want? You have something else coming. You could do my job better. You'll be sitting down behind a desk as an accountant. Who? Yes. The fact that you're an accountant doesn't mean you have the right to control or amend jobs that have already been approved. Oh, 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 I see. It it's my job you want. Pass the seat. Go there. Sit down. And start writing checks anyhow you like. Rubbish. If I'm interested in anybody's job, it wouldn't be yours, Gerald. Oh, the point here is I was given a job to do, which I did as directed. 
but you sabotage me. Why? I do not know. The insects are scheduled for the upcoming housing fair in Abuja in South Africa. So you better call the printers to correct deal. Okay. How many insects are you sending to Abuja? 120 to Abuja and 80 to South Africa. Come on now, you know this. Mm, just send 60 to Abuja and then ah. send 40 to South Africa. Look, Mr. Man, if you did know the current economic challenges of this country and by extension our company, you will know that it is people like me, you, Jerome, accountants, that are keeping this company alive. Hmm? So we don't have time or money for all this <laughs> that you are saying. No, no, you can't come to Nigeria. Mensa, are you all right? Who's that? That, uh, that's, that's, uh... I know what it takes to walk in shelter nests. I know the rules and regulations. So? So, I may just walk into the office and announce that Bada Bankole, the respectable pastor's son and televangelist, impregnated an ex-prostitute. 